Hey everybody, Ann here. It is a beautiful, bright, sunny morning. Slightly cool. It's going to warm up today, but oh well. Sitting here having my coffee. Just about finished up. And I've already done chicken chores. I don't have rabbit chores anymore. Um, but I found something yesterday that just, oh, it, it just made my night. I found these beautiful chanterelles while I was out taking Papa for his final walk of the night. I found them on, well, it's like a little path on the side of Mr. Lucas' property. And I just found a whole bunch of them. I usually find them earlier in the year, but I was just so very pleased to find these. So now they're in a, well, a makeshift dehydrator. I've got the bicolor bolete on top there, and I'm still dehydrating the jalapeno peppers. They're probably just about done, but I want to make sure that they're good and dry before I put them in the jar because I just don't want any mold to develop. And here is this. It's just a little makeshift dehydrator. Some of those plastic trays that I was using before, the ones that didn't melt, um, I just put one on the bottom. Then I put this little rack thingy covered in foil and then put a bunch of chanterelles on top of that. And then another one of those trays chanterelles on top of that and I just kind of covered it with this thing here so um, you know what I dehydrated chanterelle mushrooms last year basically just in the Sun on a paper towel with a screen over it so this is gonna be an improvement I think I don't know how long it's gonna take but I got me some chanterelles to add to my dehydrated mushroom collection so I just gotta finish up my coffee and decide what I'm gonna do today I might need to work on that hole a little bit and yeah, yeah, water gone in it. I'm gonna have to get that out. I may cut up some more wood. I'm not sure. I am definitely gonna look at my garden again. So let me just finish my coffee and figure things out. Would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, all that rain. I even had it covered up. I didn't have it covered up very good. So instead of trying to shovel it out, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop that out and see if I can make a dent in this hole today. That's better. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, I had to come in sweating. Uh, heat's getting to me. I've made a little bit of progress, but I gotta have something cold to drink, cool off. I've got some fans on me, and I think I'm gonna eat one of my peaches, one of my last two peaches in my refrigerator, <laughs> my ice chest, and then go back out and get to it. I've got to get this project done today making progress I actually dug it a little bit too long or wide um, so that down there is the progress I've made I've just got a little ways left to go um, I got to get the corners right uh, so I think I'm gonna be able to get this done today this is probably gonna give it away but it almost fits there's just a little bit more of this wall that needs down at the bottom to be shaved off and yeah that side is okay um, because there's actually a little bit more space down there in the bottom I've just got to get this part right here shaved down a little bit more and it'll fit perfectly and there you go that's right at the level that I want it so I've just got to fill in the gaps now with this dirt and I'm going to build it up a little bit on the side so that the water coming down from the slant this way can't get in. But this part is above ground. So most of it is going to be underneath ground. Some of it uh, is not so that water can't get in through the lid. Yeah, he's got the right idea. Laying down in the cool grass. It's my good boy. And there it is. My DIY makeshift little root cellar. It is mostly buried. It's up just a little bit from the ground so that water can't get in through the lid and I open it up I've got to clean this out a little bit I got some dirt in it uh, I'm gonna go through it oh my nose is running uh, with some bleach and the idea is that if you bury it in the ground it's supposed to keep it cooler now it's not gonna work during the summer I know because you'd have to dig down really really far to uh, get it to be cool but in the winter time it will keep uh, you know fresh produce and stuff like that 
at a more even temperature. I am going to cover up the top of it with something. I haven't decided what yet. Either a tarp or, I don't know, a piece of plywood or something like that. But the dirt is going to settle around it. And then I'll just add more dirt if I need to. So, I don't know. The, the real interesting thing is going to be when I test the temperature to see how much difference it is between outside and inside so I'll be doing that eventually I'm just gonna kind of watch it for a little bit here let the dirt settle pack it down more and uh, yeah just kind of see see how it goes now I know there's a couple things I need to do I really wanted to put it in a shady spot but there really wasn't anywhere feasible that was gonna be close you know so that I could access it quickly so I'm gonna do something to shade it um, I'm going to put something over the top of it, either a, um, like a pallet or something like that, um, to protect the top of it, um, and, uh, maybe even like a, a bale of straw over the top of it, like in a tarp or something, um, just to kind of further insulate it, um, down in the bottom of it, because inside I gotta control the humidity, um, I don't know if I could get one of those little you know humidifier d uh moisture whatever it is things that you get um with the little beads and whatnot i don't know if that would work um but i've got to put something down in the bottom so that produce isn't resting on the bottom um i mean i'm not gonna store a ton of stuff in there but um i want to i want it to work as best as it possibly can if it's going to work at all we're we're going to find out so, yeah, I'll probably store things in paper bags. Um, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to look into that a little bit further. But uh, I'm hoping I get some turnips and I can put the turnips down in there. Um, I didn't grow potatoes this year, but I love potatoes, so I could store potatoes in there um, and other f fresh vegetables, things, um, maybe even meat if it gets cold enough. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm gonna do a temperature test first, make a few adjustments. So I really hope it works. I think it will. Um, and maybe if it works in the future, I can build a bigger one. Maybe if I find somebody with a old used like freezer or something, um, I could like take out the bad parts and the Freon or whatever, uh, build an even bigger hole and put it down in there. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Anyhow, uh. I gotta go do some more stuff. And I got all of this cut up, 12 logs. Don't know if I'm gonna get it split up today, but I can at least get it up by the tiny house. That means I've only got this much more to go. There's actually quite a bit left, but it's gonna be thinner from here on out, so it won't be quite as bad. Oh my gosh, so, so much wood. Well, I got a quarter of them split up. <laughs> yeah, the rest can wait till tomorrow. And I am beat. So I'm just going to go stack up that wood, get a cold beverage, sit on my porch, and enjoy the evening. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.